Hi guys, this is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you have an amazing day. I'm back again with another quick presentation for with you guys. And today, as you can see on the screen, we're going to be covering what to expect when sharing your your technology. And then, plus, I'm gonna cover a few, you know, quick tips that I that I've noticed in my experience. And I hope you find this information useful. Uh, useful. And uh, as you can see, it's easier than you think. Stay grateful and focused, fam. All right. So the reason for me. To, the reason why I'm sharing this video today, oh, quick disclaimer, by no way I'm getting paid for sharing this inf you know, information with you guys today. This is all based upon my experience from sharing the technology with residential and commercial customers. And I'm volunteering my time and energy, you know, to share with you, you know, some of the things I've noticed along my path with the opportunity. So, be sure to give thanks by, you know, liking, subscribing. If you find in your heart this, this information very useful to you and you find it very handy, uh, you are more than welcome to donate because I'm not getting paid for this information, you know, sharing this information with you guys. So as we proceed, and the reason why I'm sharing today, uh, a lot of, quite a few people have been reaching out to me. They had some questions. They reached some roadblocks and a little resistance when, you know, loaning out the technology and they're not really having that success that they anticipated when they initially started. But a lot of this information can be found in your business marketing section in your online office. Um, you know, look in there for further information. All right. But today we're going to cover, you know, like again, you know, what they expect when sharing your your technology and a few tips so what does that really include so that includes you know you know knowing when to really get hands-on with your residential customers we're going to cover that you know you know how to know when to get hands-on with your commercial customers and then we're going to three we're going to talk about do we really need a letter of release or a release letter when loading out our technology or sharing, you know, products and services. And lastly, I'll cover some common area placement areas uh, for, you know, residential and commercial. And I'll give you a quick little tip as we close. So again, um, the main focus point I want to reemphasize with you guys today, you know, get used to building up, you know, know, like, and trust, you know, with yourself and with your potential customers and the people, you know, in your, your warm and cold market. And most importantly, have fun, you know, as we, we grow up in life, uh, we, we lose our curiosity and we, we, we stop having fun. We take things so serious and, you know, but we have to have fun, especially with this line of work, you know, or business that we in. I don't want to call it work. It's more, you know, like a lifestyle, anything. So I do want to put it out there, you know, at the very beginning with, with any kind of business or aspect in life. You really want to focus on getting the experience, you know, the experience that's that's going to unlock unlock all the doors, you know, for you because you didn't know your ABCs on the first day of school. So it took it took a little practice. So make sure you practice and hone, you know, and really fall in love with, you know, knowing your craft. OK, you don't have to be all scientific and be the expert and know, you know, and just knowing when to say, I don't know, like me. So, so let, let's move forward. So I really want you to know, you know, focus on getting the experience. You know, it's not about the money. It's all about making a difference. And then after watching this video a few times, I highly encourage each person to, you know, go out there and make your own video, share your story and your experience. And most importantly, you know, give credit you know, give me a little credit for the idea here because I see quite a few people make some videos and nobody has, you know, really shared their experience, you know, like this online. And, um, you know, just give me a little quick shout out, you know, for the idea and, and, and make your own video and have fun with it. And one thing, one thing I learned about leadership, you know, throughout my, my, my time in the military and long before I joined the military, uh, one thing about great leaders, they always going to lead you to some kind of reference or uh, some kind of further study so you can enlighten yourself so you can, you know, be smart just like me. You know, I would not hoard information. I would give you the information. And, you know, that way you can be your own subject matter expert. And in the military, they call them sneaks. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So as we move forward, um, you know, overall, 
you know, this is proper scholarship, you know, by giving people credit and, and we lost, that's a, have become a lost art. So, you know, get used to, you know, giving people credit, you know, referencing your sources. And this is, you know, real scholarship and mentorship at its finest here. And this will, you know, help create better continuity, you know, with our own personal research and experience and personal growth. All right. So the first step, first thing we want to cover is like how to know when to get hands on, you know, with these residential placements here. So in my experience, you know, with residential customers, especially if they have a problem and you're not trying to sell them, you're really trying to solve a problem, it's not going to be difficult at all. Um, you know, when you, you know, whatever you approach you're using to, you know, place the technology with them, uh, the most important thing that you can do is follow up and be honest with them and also ask a couple more questions to make sure, you know, uh, we can take care of the job. You know, you want to really ask a few extra questions at the very beginning, you know, with the placement and do not, you know, do not sell them. You know, you don't want to, uh, you know, you want to <laughs> under promise and over deliver. That's one of those catchphrases, you know, so you want, in other words, you want to keep that, you know, expectations low when you're sharing the technology with residential and commercial customers. OK, but, you know, with the 80, 20, using the 80, 20 rule with the residential customers, you know, you will have to you will only follow up with them at least 20 percent of the time. Um, but the reason I, I state that is because like a residential customer that, you know, they're going to have it at their house. They may need to move it from room to room because remember, we're not treating the entire home here. We just treating the problem space. So either, you know either that be the bedroom, living room, dining room, garage, whatever you name it. Uh, we just treating the problem space first, not the entire home. That can be taken care of later, you know, after you, you know, solve a problem first, okay? I hope that makes sense. But the residential customer, um, honestly, they're going to be 80% hands-on. They want to know how does the thing work? What does it do? How can it help me? And then if it does help me, can I make some money off of it? Believe it or not, because some of these, a lot of your placements are going to be your best business partner and your best cheerleaders, too. That's why I noticed in my experience. Um, so uh, when it comes to residential, again, you're going to be 20% hands-on because they want to know what's going on. The, the key thing you want to focus on is the follow-up. Uh, be sure to check on the follow-up and, and make adjustments as needed. Number two, we're dealing with commercial. With commercial, using the 80-20 rule, you're going to be 80% hands-on. And 20%, uh, you know, it's the manager or one of the, or the owner, you know, may do the rest. But 80% of the time, you're going to be physically checking in at the, on your product or your technology at the location, you know, doing your adjustment, asking questions first before you do any adjustment and then move on. So I repeat, you know, with commercial, you, you want to be a little bit more hands-on. The reason, the reason why I say this is because, a business owner, they're so busy, they don't want any more responsibility. They don't want to learn anything new. You, you know, you basically adding another job to their their business already. So I hope that makes sense. It's kind of joke within a joke. But uh, you actually create another job for some of them. Some of them, believe it or not, they'll be very optimistic and they want to you know, know exactly what the machine does. You know, like I say, under promise and over deliver. Okay, so don't make false no don't, don't make any false claims. Just say I don't know what it it does exactly, but I've been getting some great testimonials. That's all you need to say, and I would love to get your your honest feedback if that's okay with you. All right. So and then number three, let's move on. Uh, do you need a re a letter a uh, release letter when loaning out your technology? The quick answer is no. You do not need a release letter. Uh, the reason being, if so, anytime you you bring a piece of paper where somebody has to sign, it looks like a contract. And if you look at that prefix of that word kind, nobody wants to get kind. And, and a piece of paper by them signed as equal responsibility to. And that's a quick way to have the brick walls come up anytime you're trying to share. So that's what I've learned in my experience. So if you want to do it, that's up to you. This is, this is only my experience. So don't quote me on this. So you, you, you do what works best for you. As we move on, the fourth thing, let's let's cover the common placement areas. So if you can look on the screen here, 
I have a couple of common placement areas. The top, if we start from the top left, we have the old machine, the fresh air surround sitting up top. We have a nightclub here. I'm approximately, I would say maybe like seven feet from the circulation vent in the ceiling. Uh, the owner was so kind to let me loan it, the technology to them for a few days at night, of course, you know why they were busy. And this was a non-smoking facility. And uh, I was able to solve the problem. They had a little mold going on too. That was the real problem why I loaned it to them. Um, I, the re the, how did I hook up with this club owner? Believe it or not, it was my barber. My barber, I loaned it to my barber. And my barber said, hey man, I, I know this guy, he could probably, uh, could use it and that's how it worked you know you use the uh, you know the second and third degree of separation if you ever heard of that so you, you know sometimes you know all you gotta do is just ask the right question instead of selling it'll open doors that you never knew existed and, and just be grateful okay so you know but this nightclub was a great experience I solved the problem and then as we move over you see Piggly Wiggly many of you um know that chain and how did i get in here um the talking point was e coli produce section and and you know once you know your technology a little bit and what it does especially in the produce section uh it, it can work some miracles here and as you can see i had quite a few uh place here when you, anytime one little quick tip anytime you're dealing with commercial placement you want to at least have like two to three units handy because the reason being because these places are pretty big you're talking like anywhere between three thousand to to ten, over ten thousand square feet especially you know uh when you're doing some of these big facilities like gyms and things of that nature uh, but you know the produce section uh, was a good talking point and also they had some lingering odors towards the front of the store the one next to it uh, this is a junior high football team. Um, how did I get here? Um, believe it or not, guys, my daughter's um, elementary school principal opened up the door for me with the director, the, uh, the, the director for the school district um, in that department so I could start sharing it with some of the schools you know, and I just wanted some feedback. So that's how I got this placement here. Um, so where's this located here? This is in where they store the, the helmets and also the, the pads, you know, after practice or after a game, because uh, this one room in particular, no, no matter if they had that um, a certain, you know, big name brand purifier, you know, that they have, pre, you know, already pre-installed in there, it really wasn't cutting it compared to this technology here, I, I really want to, you know, put this out there. You know, they had some big machines that whatever name brand machine you could think of, you know, they had it. And, um, but this machine, you know, they, I could see the doubt in their eyes when I walked in with this small box and they had these big machines on their roof and it's not doing anything, but this little box solved the problem, believe it or not. So let's move on. To the far left at the bottom here, this is a beauty shop, beauty salon placement. The lady was so kind of letting me share the technology with them. Uh, what was the key problem area here? They had some mold in there. They were renting the space from one of my uh, army counterparts. Uh, he's the actual the owner. And, you know, he told me that's how I got in here. He was like, hey, you know, uh, I think they got like a little mold going on. And, um, you know, just residual, nothing bad. Uh, but they were so kind of let me share there and I did solve the problem. You can see the uh, the hair dryers in the, the background there. The next one is a high school locker room. Same um, placement, really. This is the second degree, second and third degree of this one placement with that first junior high school. There's the same guy. He linked me up to the high school here in uh, a certain city in Alabama. Uh, I was able to see that big machine there. That wasn't even cutting it. <laughs> they had that thing on max and it was thinking and the pad you still smell the pads and you know and the players through that big machine but once i brought they you know i could see the smirk when i walked in there with these small boxes and and these uh air surface pro, pros pardon me and and uh, within the first day uh here I, I they knows the difference i did a quick sanitize uh, on the first day of course with them after practice and uh after everyone was out you know, did a quick sanitize. I was able to uh, minimize that and to get rid of that because a lot of that stuff goes into the ceiling, guys. Uh, believe it or not, those smells, it get embedded into the ceiling uh, sometime in the drywall. 
that's why it's so hard for the the odor and the smell of cigarettes and stuff like that to get out and last we had the uh, a store placement gas station they were so kind of let me share the technology with them and as you can see i put some free advertisement in the back uh if you look at just above the coca-cola machine i have the box and i always on purpose i, I place the box where they can see all the benefits by having the technology in there establishment and you can see the air purifier over there by the mocha machine uh and i made sure that it was it wasn't in a spot where uh anything could get wet everything was safely placed and i was you know thinking of the the safety of the store owner and the customers as well um but when you open your heart the right way when you're sharing this technology you'll be amazed you can, you can basically place this thing anywhere all right, so as I close, I hope you found this information very informative and very useful. Um, keep practicing, you know, with different environments and get good at what you do. Most importantly, you know, share your story. And lastly, always, always, always tell, you know, your field testers and your customers and the people that's actually helping you with your business opportunity or in life in general, you know, just tell them thanks. And, that, you know, that thank you will take you a, a long way. It's called gratitude. Okay, so. I'll be bringing more videos soon, um, which consists of, you know, I'll give you a complete walkthrough, some advanced tips of like, what does, you know, certain things really mean when you smell, certain smells mean on your machine, um, some advanced walkthrough for us, like with hotel placements of that nature and proper invoicing. And then I'll, you know, do a video walking you through an actual three to five day placement, you know, and actually how to do proper follow-up. And last, Lastly, I'll throw this out there and I'll down the line, I'll be walking you guys through like, I know many of you guys, Chris, how are you getting your unit in, in inside these establishments and, and are they buying, you know, like the most important thing is not buying right away. You, you want to expose people to your products, services and information, you know, at least, you know, in my experience, um, you know, about seven to 14 times. And, uh, you know, to get that exposure, you know, it's like subliminal, you know, advertisement. And uh, believe it or not, you know, people will love your technology regardless. You don't have to sell them. And so, but that is an advanced technique. But I will talk about some re rejection-free approaches to your, you know, doing business, sharing your products and services. And also, you know, this would include, you know, how to properly turn, you know, your, your life into a successful business model where, you know, you're not working for money. Your money is actually working for you. So again, guys, this is Chris Thompson with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you found this information very informative. And be sure to click the like, subscribe. And if you feel in your heart you want to donate, you know, for this hearing this information today, please, please do so by all means. But until next time, stay grateful and focused. I hope you have an amazing day. And uh, it's been a pleasure as always. Peace.